I don't know where they're... What's up, YouTube? I'm out here on the Stranger Creek. And I don't know if you can see on camera, but there is millions of just Asian carp swimming. And I'm shooting them. I got that one right there. I'm just shooting them with my 22, <laughs> aiming at the gills. And uh, it seems to work out nicely, as you can see by that one. When they come up to the surface, see the ones right there? They come up to the surface. And I shoot them in the gill. <laughs> so, I'm going to try to get one on camera. I don't know if I can. These are silver carp, by the way. There's, a, there's just so many. I have a bow fishing set up, and I should have should be using that, but I just... You know, like shooting them this way, it's easy, you don't have to reel them in. I'm trying to get one where I could shoot it and you could see the blood or, you know, see it. Here's one right here on the surface. As you can see, I don't know how good it's showing up on camera, but I'm definitely hitting them. I'm aiming right where the gill plate is and that should kill them because you know these fish are destroying the the creek here and all the native fish we have they're eating everything so so might as well have fun target practicing this 1022 I got is a beast He's shooting mini mags. But so far, only one floated. I had a few yesterday. I probably shot 500 or so. And a bunch of them did float up and die instantly. But then they sank, you know, pretty much right away. I don't know if you could see it on camera, like just all the fish out here. Probably not showing up too well. But there's some right in here. There's a bunch out there right in the middle, right? <laughs> Tip the barrel. Here's one right here. Oh. Out of bullets, but all right, you can see the fish now. Look at the just the sheer amount. If anyone lives in the Kansas City area and wants to come shoot, you know, let me know. We'll, we'll come have us a fucking blast shooting fish all day. But I'm gonna go reload and then I'll come back. Alright, I'm back. I reloaded. At a different tree. Shooting different fish. Oh, I got that one. See him floating? That's a big mo boy, too. See how he's sinking now? That's what they've been doing. But oh well, the turtles, turtles will get him. It's just never ending with them. I got that one. <laughs> it's just never ending, you guys. You have no idea how fun this is, but it's also very wasteful, but like I said, these are invasive species and they, you know, destroy all the food sources for the native fish. That one floated up. I got two that floated and a bunch that didn't float up. <laughs> I 
I really need a scope cam. I think this would be fun, but it's very hard to see in the water with my camera. You know, with the with my eyes, I can see really well. Here's one right here coming up to the surface. Well, I'm gonna get off here. I'm gonna shoot one more, I guess. There's one. Trying to get one more on camera. One more service one. If you guys know about bow fishing, you know how refraction works and you have to aim low. That's why the ones right on the surface usually, you know, float up and all that. Here's one out here. Oh, I'm out. I'll catch you guys later. I got tons of bullets, but, you know, I just wanted to show you guys the fish. Show you guys these Asian carp and how many there are. It's like insane. It's absolutely insane. But all right, later, guys. All right, guys. So I'm back after killing a bunch, and I actually got one. Here, come take the camera. Well, let me zoom out. I'm having my baby mama record me. Damn, that thing is huge. The bullet hit in the top of the head and it did all sorts of damage. This is the first one I ever actually picked up. It looks looks pretty neat. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Thanks. It's got the eye below the jawline, which is kind of weird. No teeth in them at all you know it doesn't have a typical sucker looking mouth like a carp i think the bullet went in there and just grazed along the brain or something but what this one did was it ran towards the bank and then just floated up so figured i'm gonna take them home and try them see what they taste like i found a gill net on ebay for these and if it tastes good, you know, I'll come, I'll catch fucking tons of them. Put put a gill net out, can them or something, or, you know, freeze them. But, all right, y'all, this is going to conclude this video. This 1022 I just put together is, like, working really good for this kind of stuff. It's working really good. The barrel's freaking accurate as hell. But... All right, later, guys.